While on holiday on the Isle of Wight, I've been trying to find some Monster Jam trucks to get, review, whatever. I've been looking for them everywhere, and today i found several. Get out your bingo cards for UK shops because I've got a couple for you. First of all, the Entertainer is where I got the 5-pack Max D set and the Bro Dozer, and a little shop in Cowles on the Isle of Wight called That Shop. It used to be a hat shop and they put a T on the front of it, is where I got the Cyclops and Bounty Hunter. Let's start off by taking a look at the Cyclops. This is quite an old truck and people were somewhat surprised to find that I got it. It has got a bit of a discrepancy on the top which is where the price sticker was slapped on which is unfortunate but uh, this is fine. It sort of adds to the aesthetic of this thing looking a little bit old. It has got a few beaten up marks on it. You can see the paint has chipped a bit. I think this is in fact the uh, colour change one. That if you make it wet it changes colours. Uh, I'm not sure though so I will have to check that out. At another point but the uh, the coloring of the bodywork seems to match up with that or the uh, chassis I should say uh, secondly we have that 20th anniversary bounty hunter the split paint scheme yellow one side and blue on the other we also have all of the lovely graphics all over this thing looking very very nice indeed including uh, several messages for the fans thanking them for their support over the 20 years that bounty hunter operated up until 2015 and I think bounty hunter has gone on far in advance of that but that's when this truck is from anyway. I didn't really know what I was going in trying to find in that shop when I got these two. They were just sort of sat outside. I knew that I would probably find some sort of monster trucks there whether they would be the right ones or not but I managed to find a couple with only a couple of paint scuffs, some out of the packaging ones that have been out for ages and that somebody has passed on. They've got some damage but they are still quite nice. Now over to brand new trucks, we have Brodozer here. It's the first Brodozer I have owned personally. It is from the Inverse Trucks collection of trucks and it is, I can't remember what set this is from or what mix this is, um, but it is from the same mix as the Stone Crusher and the Scooby Doo. I was hoping to find a Stone Crusher in the shop when I realized what mix it was, but no luck there. It was just Brodozer and Batman as far as the eye could see. So getting Brodozer out of the packaging, as well as this section at the bottom that has the name label on it, it used to contain a little free gift as I discovered with some of the older ones. Who remembers these little terrible little wristband things that you can wear if your wrists are small enough, your hands are small enough that you can fit over the top. I think if I tried it would cut off circulation and I would not be too happy. Let's open up the poster though and take a look at who is on the back. It is Scooby-Doo, looking very nice indeed, mid-jump. Very cool, and uh, we'll just take a quick look at the poster as well, some of the other trucks in the wave, including the Chase Piece, which is the Gravedigger ride truck. Wouldn't it be cool if I found that in the shop, I'm sure. Uh, this is Brodozer. It looks very cool. It is, of course, uh, the inverse of what it would actually look like, yellow paint job and the black sort of roll cage on the top and front. Uh, they've swapped it over, so it is a black body with yellow motifs on it and the yellow roll cage. I have to say I wasn't too sure about getting this truck uh, when I was looking at it online. The price never really appealed to me for what I was getting, but seeing it in the shop and getting it at the reduced price of only £4 instead of the usual 5 or 5 99 depending on where you're buying from, I thought I would just pick it up because it's a truck that I don't already have and it's one to add to the collection for whatever purposes I find later on. I do actually quite like it, it's an interesting shaped truck, it looks different to what I've got already. And that just takes us on then to the five pack of Max D Maximum Destructions, Tom Mentz Machines, whatever you want to call them. Here they are from 2002 Team Mentz. We've got 2003 Maximum Destruction as well as the 2013 and 2016 Max Ds looking very cool. The 2013 one, of course, being the 10th anniversary a decade of destruction truck. One side of the packaging shows off a really nice look at the red Max D, the other showing off the yellow Max D, both of which from 2016 when Tom Mentz and Max D were up to 11 championship titles. On the back we've got a timeline going from 2002 to 2016. You can see the order in which they came about and some photos. It's a really nicely presented box. I really like the artwork on the back. Perhaps something to cut out and save. Maybe we'll see if I get round to it. But yeah, I really like that. And along the top you can see all of the logos from Team Mentz all the way through to the yellow Max D from 2016. And the red one of course from the same year. Enough about the box though, it is very nice. Let's open it up and take a look at the trucks. Let us start then this fleet with 
Team Mentz. Now, my knowledge of the history of these trucks is very, very limited. I am a complete noob to Monster Jam, so I won't even pretend to know the history of these things, but I'm just going to comment on what they look like. And I really like the look of this one. You can tell I'm a complete noob, can't you? Um, this is a really cool looking truck. It's gold. I know that Tom Menz used to drive a truck called Goldberg. You can see Tom Menz there. There's a little paint up, in fact, on the, uh, the back of the truck, which is quite fun. Um, I think that was on the real truck. I'm not sure. I would never know, but uh, do tell me in the comments if he was, in fact, on the chassis itself. That's quite fun. I like that. Uh, I really like the sort of patterny work on that one as well. Not as much as I like the patterny work on Maximum Destruction from 2003. This is a very good looking truck with the flames and that face that we're so used to seeing on the side, having like all of the hair and tendrils of the technology all spraying out everywhere. You've got the speedometer with uh, Tom Bent's name underneath it. It's a very, very good looking truck. And uh, I kind of wish I'd seen this one actually performing live at a show or something, because I think it would be very eye catching. Uh, if you have been to one of the shows, seen it, let me know again in the comments below. Um, I also like the fact that they've used the older tires on this older version of Max D. It's something you see on of the uh, Grave Digger trucks that I've got as well. We then have the Decade of Destruction Max D. You can see that face has moved round to the side and I know the face has a name, I just cannot remember what its name is. So again, comment section, let me know. Educate me, please. It's incredible to see that they've captured all the little decals. You've got the Max D very small printed in the middle of where the two headlights jut out. You've got all of the printing all the way over, all of the fire decals, little triangles here, there and everywhere, all of the rivets painted on as well on the front bonnet. Uh, it's just very cool and especially the sort of edging all the way round on every little seam where two sections join each other you can see that it's got that awesome edging on it and it's very very clever indeed as I already mentioned they've managed to capture all the details inside that face as well which is very cool to see I really like the look of this truck maybe not as much as the maximum destruction truck but it's still very cool we now move on to the yellow and the red Max D's, both from 2016. We'll start with the yellow, which I know came after, but I'm going with it first, who cares? Um, it's a nice looking truck, actually. Um, the yellow paint apps all over with the black line going throughout the middle where we'd usually see the sort of flame effects going through. It's a very different take on the Max D paintwork. It's almost inverse like we saw with Brodos earlier, but not quite. Worth noting as well, we've swapped over to BKT wheels, the sort they use on a lot of the modern day trucks. We'll take a look at the red one as well, which is more akin to what we'd see with the red replacing the usual silver bodywork, but the normal sort of fire patterns all the way over the top of the truck. I also love, and I didn't mention it on the yellow one, but all the rivets that have been raised up and cast into that chassis, it just makes it so much cooler and that it's all painted up as well. It just looks very nice indeed. All of the paint taps, very consistent, very good looking. It's a very good looking truck and I really do like it. And so those are the eight trucks that I got today in my little shopping spree haul across the sort of northern end of the Isle of Wight. Um, I have never looked for monster trucks on the Isle of Wight before, so uh, it was interesting finding out where does and doesn't stock them. As it turns out, nowhere else on the island seems to have them just the places I went today so worth it in one day to find all of these because I was starting to wonder if the island had any at all as it turns out they do and that's just about it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like do subscribe to the channel if you are new and I shall catch you again for more stuff